In this episode, we explore an abandoned English cottage that has been abandoned since 2008. The previous owner of this home, named Marjorie, sadly passed away inside the house with all of her belongings left inside. Today we explore what remains in her home as we try to catch a glimpse of what her life was once like. All right, so this is the entryway to the house. The front we're not able to access. So we're going through the back. So let's go see. And this is like a garbage bin of logs, like shortcut logs. That's a thorn bush. Yeah, be careful. There's a bottle of beer or something right here. That sign of kids hanging out here too. Yeah. Now, all over the bandos out here, they say this. I don't know why. Last night we were at a bando school and we just like, it, it, was, it was dark. So I just pulled up in front of the gate and it said like CTTV, whatever, private security. And we're like, okay, we're not gonna go do this. I'm gonna try to find a hotel to stay at. And all of a sudden the light from the other side of the <laughs> like freaking thing yeah. comes walking up to us. And it's a guy in the pitch black, just sitting there waiting to find somebody at that yep. school. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm not from here. It's a pretty decayed school. Mm -hmm. So, like, I guess it actually happens. Obviously, it's not going to happen here. There's no electricity, but there's no cameras either. It's a very um, common thing out here for this whole CCTV warning thing. We don't have that in America. Yeah. So we have no trespassing signs. Yes, and private property signs. And you even got some look, like barbed oh, wire wow. waiting to be put up somewhere. Oh, yeah, this is like their little back deck which is pretty cute. Oh, dad is calling me. I'm gonna have to call you right after dad, sorry. <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of little junk here. There's like a like a purse right there. Some more beer. And a bunch of other random junk and some pine cones and dried whatever over there. And tons of dead garlic. I think that was one of those garlic yeah. wreaths. And this big thing on the floor. Oh, isn't that like one of those like yeah. things? I forget what they're called. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm blanking out. Something. But uh, yeah, so. No, I was about to say a pitchfork. No, that's not a pitchfork. It's something else. Oh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're being dumb right now, but whatever. So we got to get in through here. There's a hole here that has been kicked out of the glass and that's weird though look at that lock on the bottom i've never seen one of those outside that is weird i don't get it but yeah look that's an entry right there so we're gonna put the camera down for a second and climb in there because there's no way we're gonna be holding out while we climb through this hole yeah so let's, let's go, go.
All right, now that we got through that section, we're gonna start here in the back room, which is actually the kitchen. As you can see, the first thing I noticed when we walked in is that this key is still in the door, which is wild. Look at that. Beautiful old key. Skeleton key, to be exact. Put that back in there. That's amazing that, you know, even though this place is really hoarded out and seems like either animals or humans got through everything, there's still so much untouched, which is amazing. Well, I guess starting over here, this looks like an old Sir series map of 1841 to 1844 of this area. Cool. Now, it's really kind of gross in this kitchen because so much food is left behind and so much mold and who knows what. Over here, we got a suit jacket still hanging. Peat coat. Peat coat. Well, it's not really in the closet, but it's hanging here for some reason. Now, this entire cabinet is full of china. This one right here is of a sheep. But it's surprising, none of these are smashed. They're all in beautiful condition. And like I was saying, tons of food. Now, so much stuff is open, like that powdery stuff. Now, let's try to get some years on here. 77? Eh. Let me check another one. That's, that's really old. That would be super, super old. Let's try one of these spices over here. 2011. Oh. Now, obviously, it doesn't mean it's been here since 2011. Exactly. Like, the date here on this calendar is stuck on 2008. That's more accurate. So, like you said, it takes a, f a while for certain things to expire. So, um, it's probably in the 2000, before the 2010s, that this place was left behind. It's still got tons of china over here. I guess this is not considered china. This is pretty, pretty cups. And the smell in here is pretty bad because all this stuff is just kind of open and rotting for over 10 years at this point. So it's, it's kind of gross. Now it's gonna be hard for us to move around in here because as you can see, the floor is really hoarded out. So sorry if it gets shaky at some points or if we kind of trip over things because we're trying to kind of circus over everything in here. And the but, place seems very small. Yes, it is very small. And one thing that we um, figured out as we were driving through the countryside here, a lot of the houses are just small in general. The English Tudor houses, they just like to have like small cottagey type homes. So um, we didn't really see any big mansions or any big homes like that, like once in a while, but mainly they're this size. They're pretty tiny. So there are cracks in these walls. Oh, wow, I didn't even really notice that. And... Like, look by the door frame. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Touching the walls and stuff. We do, we do, because... And we don't... Everything's made differently here, you know, and it's really old. That's something that this beautiful country has that's different than what we typically see in America. All these houses are really, really, really old, and that's amazing to me, but that means everything is built differently. So... You'll see along the way that there's a lot of things that is different than our typical homes you find in America. So, sorry ahead of time if we're not familiar with certain things in this country, but we're trying to learn as we go. Now, this is a beautiful cup. This says Wakefield Cathedral. I don't know where that is. Um, just says Wakefield. I'm assuming in England, but it looks like these people may have traveled around because that was like a Greek calendar. Um, so there's a mixture of things from different countries around here. Now we'll take a look kind of at this area first before we leave. You can see there's flies 
flying around. What was that? You guys heard that? So, over here, you have, well, first of all, I'm stepping all over plates, which I don't want to smash and break by accident, but you can see that this sink is just full of stuff, like old, like, shower gel and weird things like that. It just kind of seems like they, like just piled it all in and called it a day. But pretty tall faucets. And it seems like it's starting to split from the back of the wall here. You can see it just kind of like ripping off. Just pretty crazy. And over here, you have to see from like this way that this is a really old oven trash bin here but you can see like the, the oven temp thing here and it's just gross in there and a ton of more things but this seems to be like pots of plants that uh died and some shampoo thrown here and obviously no use for the oven at that point so i wonder if this was always like this or people put this stuff here rummaging through it I'm not really sure, but it's a beautiful old oven. I really like it. Yeah. So, now I'm going to tiptoe my way over this way so we can show you the other, other oven because I guess there's two here. And I don't know what this thing is on the floor, but it almost looks like the back of a toilet, right? Yeah. The thing that like lifts yeah. up, the, but you'll see the toilet area is disgusting. I have to hold my breath when I go in there, so it's going to be nasty to show you. But over here, we have a more modern oven. So I guess they had an old school one and a new one. And again, just a bunch of random food items left behind here. Whatever this is, is alcohol coffee, table salt, sauces, calcium tablets, a bunch of random things. And it seems like over here, it's hard to squeeze through everything with a backpack. You got mouse killer, some old spoons and utensils, and a walker. So you'll see a walker in the other room too. So whoever did live here, they were elderly. Um, 
we're like we said, we're gonna try to figure out if we didn't tell you guys already what's um, the, going on with the history, but most likely maybe they passed away because they seem to have been elderly people that lived here at one point. Now this is where it starts smelling really, really bad. But I'll have you peek in here because I can't stand in there while I show you. This is the bathroom, the shower. You and can see attic. up there, yeah, the attic's up there. It's just falling apart. There's a ladder. There's some shampoo in the back. You can zoom in on that. So it's not really something we can get inside of and they kind of just put their stuff in here and smash everything, but let's move this way. This is the smelly part. It smells so bad, guys. I'll take it. I can't even like, oh, explain. And it's not like the typical pando smell of a kitchen that we go through. I don't know why, but it smells so different. It's disgusting. Oh, you can see the webs. And it's just rotting and molding and just gross. More items down here. And I'm stepping on some sponge cake blocks. This is Kellogg's Crunchy Nut. Never heard of that cereal before. And this is the bathroom. Now the toilet's over there. Not much to see on that side. But look at the toilet paper, guys. Oh my god. It is literally black. There's like two of them back there. Ugh, it is so gross. It smells so bad. Maybe that's why it smells so bad. It's a mixture of like Bando gross toilet and this food right here. I don't really know, but the combination makes it horrible. So let me turn out of this and hand the camera back to Zach. And we'll try to go into the next bedroom, which is the most hoarded out bedroom. There's two bedrooms. Here you can barely see the bed. The other one you can make out the bed. Ugh. And all over the floor you have like just shoes, towels, blankets, tons of things like vacuum. Now, you can see like there's stuff like growing all over this. I don't know what it is, but it's like fluffiness. It's probably a type of mold. It's gross. <laughs> now, I don't know what this is for. Um, alarm. That's a big alarm. It's a very System. big alarm. Yeah, I've never, at home, I've never seen one this massive. So, like you said, look at these cracks. It's so bad right here. And you got a motion sensor, obviously it doesn't work. It's up there. And then when you get in here, you see the cracks extend from this corner all the way up here. Now this room is so hoarded to the point that you can't even open the door past this part. So I'm gonna squeeze in first, he'll hand over the camera and then he'll squeeze in. And we'll show you these cracks. But look how tight this is. How much stuff is in here.
this. Ooh. Let's see if that can get in here. Now, up here is the cracks I was saying it stems from the other side. It's even in the ceiling. And it goes all the way around. And then look over there. Cracks just are splitting the walls. <coughs> Very dusty. <coughs> so, some sort of light switch over there? Wow, I didn't really. So there's pay more down to that. there. Oh, yeah, there's yeah, light switches and the plugs. Yeah, this seems like. Yeah, it clicks like a light switch. That must have been the light switch. That's really long. And again, another walker. Maybe it was so long because whoever lived in the home wasn't able to reach. So they made a really, really, really long string in order to be able to turn the light on and off. And the fixture would have been here, but there's no fixture left. Now let's look at some of the items in this room. As you can tell, it's just hoarded out. This is a cute little, I don't know what liquid is in here, probably alcohol, because it's clear. And then you got a pretty, this is considered cross stitch, I think so. Oh wow, look. Nice. Teeth yeah. molds. That's where they had it here. Like we found teeth molds in our um, abandoned dentist offices, but not in houses, with the exception of the dentist house that we found way back. That's interesting. Weird. Now look, geography. Geographia, guide with large pictorial plan of London. And it says places of interest in London. Oh, wow, okay. It's a map. It's a huge map. Let me try to unfold this properly. It doesn't really want to go because it's been like in this position for so long. Wow, look at that, guys. Is there a year on this? This is awesome. Now we were just in London for two days. I'm not seeing a year, but it's definitely old, you can tell that. Amazing. And we did enjoy London. London was a great city. We had a lot of fun there and we saw all of the normal touristy things that you would see when you go to London. And we're actually gonna be having a second channel for all of our fun travel um, and touristy type things um, that you know we wouldn't put on this channel because this is pure abandonment, this is pure our passion. But for our other fun stuff, we're gonna have a second channel, which we'll put in the description about where that is and how you can find that if you wanna see our fun that we had in London and all that good stuff. So let me step up here, because this is a bed, so you can see it, it you know, moves like a bed, but um, it's so hoarded out. You got another walker here, and this bookshelf is still full of things. You got puzzles, tons of books, so whoever loved, uh, lived here loved their books. Um, British Schools Judo Association, like um, like judo, like like karate. Is that like judo? I don't know what that means really, but probably. But um, I, you know, I'm I apologize. I don't know if this is Japanese or Chinese or what, but the symbols look like it to me. Um, September 1966. So that is old. 
Yeah, and there's another paper here that says Women's Judo Magazine. So we'll have to look that up and find out what Judo means because I'm unfamiliar with that term. Now, try to get over here a little bit. Here we just got tons of magazines and I guess they just had their binders, anything else like that. Yeah, regular, regular magazines for out here, I guess. Prima, I guess was a popular. Yours, Royal Secrets and Playing the Queen. That's a collection of mags. Now over here is their armoire. Are you able to zoom in from there so you don't have to climb? Awesome. So on the armoire we got Britannia Airways. I'm assuming that's for airplane, airplane company. I wonder if they still exist. We came on Virgin Airways. So that's a pretty cool bag with the Queen and the British flag. Now in here, it's just tons of papers and um, makeup and stuff like that. This paper, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you this, but it's an income, ta income tax paper from 1965. And then again, another thing about the British Judo Association. Whatever that means, so you really want to educate yourselves on that. Now, we got some cute little knickknacks over here, like this cute little doggy. And makeup stuff is in the drawers, and that's pepper. That's not <laughs> makeup stuff, but we got some brush, some old perfume, pixie powder puff, compact. This is a really cool thing. Is this considered a decanter? I'm not really sure. This is Moss Cotel and a Dulce. Not sure what country this is from, but it's a really cool shaped bottle. Now, over here from 1989, we have a letter. Pretty extensive handwritten letter. Which is pretty cool. And an old Bible, the Book of Common Prayer, the Church of England. Under Presented in Great Britain. Doesn't really have a date. 1936. Oh wow, that's pretty amazing. I'll leave that nicely right there. Now on the other side of this room, we just got like old pretty bags in here. Some handkerchiefs. Purses. Nothing name brand that I could recognize. And again, more books. And that cabinet is falling over. So you won't be able to really find anything in there, but just more purses. It's a London. It says Ac Ackery, London. So that's pretty cool. I like seeing all the different fashion and brands and things like that from this country. Like there's some really old books in here. Lord Hornblower from London. And the teachings of Queen Cunty. Interesting. Again, this says Iceland. Pretty cool. So I think that's kind of like the main gist of this room. There's so much stuff we could probably dig for days, but I would say that's like the highlights that we got in here. 
I can almost touch the ceiling, but I'm too short on this bed. But um, again, like you said earlier, very small cottage homes that they lived in. I like how quaint and um, like kind of like the vibe you get from it. It's just like a quaint homey feeling from these types of homes. So what we're gonna do now is squeeze back through that hole and we're gonna flip flop and we're gonna show you the main living room and another bedroom, which I think that's more so the main bedroom, but I'm not really sure. So let's flip flop. It's so tight. and let's show you the living room. Okay. This place is so messy. It really is. I don't know if they call it living rooms out here. They have like different wording for everything, but yeah, this would have been their living room. It's pretty small. It's a bunch of like stains on the wall. Probably water damage. It looks like grease. It does look like grease. You see all that, guys? It's like kind of like a splotchy, like not like a mold, but like like you said, more like grease a stains. grease situation. Like up there too. I guess it came from the light. I don't know. Maybe there was a fire in here. Weird. That explains. Well, that would explain the police tape outside. But as she stated earlier, this place is really hoarded. So let's see what we can find on this side. On this couch, we got some binders. Uh, it's like pictures, magazine style pictures. Maybe this person was into some sort of designing. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely. Let's see what's in this one. Probably the same stuff. Oh, probably the same stuff. This one's pretty heavy. <laughs> Weird sounds out there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all the cars running on diesel. <laughs> yeah. Same stuff. Over here, we got some liquor bottle. Never heard of this liquor. It's from Italy. Amaretto. Yeah. We had it in our Olive Garden margarita. It's yeah. that sweet liquor. Some old clock. Bunch of DVDs. Oh, yeah. A crossword dictionary.
I do not know what this thing is, but it kind of looks like that thing you showed in that room, but a smaller version of it. Probably something like a bong. Yeah, it does look like a bong. <laughs> <laughs> but it probably was not meant for a bong. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, cannabis, I'm pretty sure, is illegal in this country, actually, but it would be for tobacco. Well, they could smoke other stuff. Yeah. It's a little animal figurine. A cool little jar. And what's this? It's probably like a jewelry holder, yeah. No jewelry, of course. That one doesn't open. Up here you got some more little figurines. A lot of that, a lot of them, those stains, that's all over the wall. Cool little frame. Wait, are they teapots? Um, that's totally possible. I don't know. Good idea. <laughs> well, all you guys that are from the UK that watch our channel. Yeah, let us know. Yeah, comment and let us know what we are unfamiliar with. Yeah. And this would have been their fireplace. We got a cool picture here of a man walking with his dog. And in the background, looks like some sort of castle or something. Got some cool statue. Oh, I don't know what this is. A figurine again, I guess. It's like a model looking lady for someone special. See, birthday card or something. I don't know, not Major Re? <laughs> Marjorie. Okay. Wishing you a birthday that's filled with many beautiful moments to enjoy. Okay. Again, that 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 stuff that's all over. That's so weird. Maybe it's water damage and the paint mixed together. There's just a bunch of stuff on the floor. Let's we're gonna dig through a little bit of it, but not all of it. Again, a bunch of those magazine sort of pictures. Binders full of it. I'm guessing this is gonna be the same thing. Yep. The furniture is all scattered around. Quilts, sweaters. Um, Some old sandals. A bunch of knitting stuff. This is, this looks like some sort of journal or something. June 12th, there's no year though. It says term 1940, I think. Wow. Whatever they're writing about, they're calling it a palace. We got some cigarettes, well, a cigarette box. I wouldn't smoke cigarettes, well I don't smoke at all, <laughs> but if I was a smoker I wouldn't smoke cigarettes with these graphic images on the box. We got a book and some random stuff scattered, oh, scattered all around. Another purse, let's see what's this, it's a piece of paper with some random writing on it. Yeah. About a staff meeting. Uh, let's try to get through this all. Is there anything else on the floor that I've missed? Um, Most of all, like the magazine stuff. Yeah, it looks like I'm all magazines and things like that, and a, a huge quilt or blanket or whatever it is. And right here, we got a family picture. I don't know which one of these family members would have lived here, but I'm assuming it would be one of the older family members. And let's match this. I'm pretty sure this is the same lady. All right, pink and pink are here. Yes. So I'm assuming, well, guessing. Oh, was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. He's stepping on something? That makes a sound? I don't know if... I 
I think it's the trucks. I think they have like those beeping sounds. Yeah. When turning and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I'm assuming this was this lady's home. Right, you hear that? Isn't that strange? I don't know if the mic is... Yeah, we're stepping on something. I gotta be stepping on something. Like it's probably some battery. I wonder power. if the mic can pick it up, but yeah, it's like going wham, wham, wham. <laughs> like, obviously, there's no electricity in here, but yeah. it's just it's weird. Probably just some like clock or something, like a watch or an alarm or something. Yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of magazines and newspapers on the floor. A little card. Oh. Hope you're enjoying retirement as much as we are. Again to Marjorie. Yep. Oh, it's a Christmas card. There's a bunch of glasses here. What do they call it out here? They don't call them glasses. Lenses? Yeah. I think we it. heard somebody say that. Yeah. And then a huge skeleton key. I probably went to one of these doors. There's a bunch of doors in here with keyholes, so. That's big. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Got a bunch of pictures here too. Kodak pictures. Man in a suit. Three men in suit. Yeah, let's try to like, is there a way we can, yeah, there we go. If you hold them here, baby boy, you can... There we go. Yeah, there's men. Yeah, they're all similar. Yeah. Here's another family photo. This seems a little more modern. It seems like it's in here because of the same color walls. I don't think so. Right? It doesn't look like the same furniture. New Year's Eve 20, 2010 or 19? Uh, I so that's don't know. 2019. That's a big jump from the calendar and everything else that's dated. Probably 2010. Yeah. Up here, we got a little mug with Queen Elizabeth from 1937 in the coronation. Awesome. And the king. This is cool. I can't believe this is from 1937. Just sitting in here. Oh, a bunch of smaller keys. Little whistle, I think. No, it's a light. Another one of those cigarette packages. The guy having a heart attack. Yeah, that's so funny. And here we got some pictures. This one, it's like a pictures of a conference call. Oh, uh, um, yeah, like a video call. I have another letter here from the mouth and foot painting artist. It's to the same person. Hmm. Okay, it's for Christmas cards. Probably like donated to his company and he'll send them Christmas cards. On the floor, there's a bunch of newspapers. Let's find a date on one of these newspapers. On the graph, I guess this one. Now we got a chicken inside of this thing. This is from 2020. That's weird. And it's really weird. That's weird. There's definitely a possibility of people squatting in yeah, here or something. there's a lot of beer bottles and rubbish outside. And obviously vandalism, like there's broken windows. So, yeah, maybe there's squatters. That's another thing we gotta keep, um, be careful for. We don't know what type of squatters and homeless people they got out here. Um, all right, let's check in here. A bunch of more mugs and plates. Oh, you see that one says E. Uh, you see that cup right there? Can you get to that cup? Yeah. Here, I'll help you. I got it. I got it. Here. Here. Wow. 
Queen Elizabeth II, the second, 1953. This is cool. That's pretty. Yeah, let's put this one up here. It's a cool display for a picture or whatever. Is, that, is there any more in there like that? Check on this side. Um, there's a foot over there. You see that foot? A foot? Like a shoe. Oh. Oh, he scared me for a shoe. second. There's an actual foot. It's a boot. That's funny. It's cute. It's, oh, what? Um, is that Sweden? That has that boot thing? You know what I mean? Oh, like house, boot house? Um, boot houses? Yeah. I think so. I don't know. That's cute. Pretty sure they have those out here, too. This is from Holland. Holland. Yeah, Holland. <laughs> nice, baby. They yeah. like their antiques. Yeah. Okay. We're done with that. There's a bunch of newspapers on this chair right here. And on the floor right here, there's a bunch of really old photos. Um, let's pick some up or just scratch down a little bit. Yeah. It's a lady with, oh, it's a little girl. I said lady with a British like, dress. Wow. This picture looks really old. That's a postcard. That's cool. Some military men. This looks cool. Definitely someone in the Navy and his wife. And another marriage picture. Don't know if it's the same people. Probably not. Then again, I don't know. Could be. It's a lot of old pictures here. This one's kind of creepy. This one's cool, too. Wow. And there's a bunch. Sucks that they're just, like, on the floor like this. Yeah. I mean, we could pick it up, but it's not going to do anything. This place looks like it's going to fall apart by next week. Hopefully somebody, you know, comes before this place falls apart and save all of this, like a family member or something. There's a bunch of history here. That's cool. Look at that sign behind him. It says lost children. <laughs> um, sorry. Oh, there we go. That's weird. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, my yeah. knees hurt. And they're all just scattered on the floor. Yeah. There's an old vacuum thing here. Oh. Probably like non-powered ones. So. I think, did we point out this cane? No. Yeah, there's another cane there. Okay, let's make it into the main room. Gonna step on these photos. Yeah, be careful. I really hope they didn't live this way. How do you even get around? 
Oh, there's some boom box over there. And this would have been their bed, but it's covered in all sorts of stuff. Wow. Here we got a college binder. I don't think there's anything college related in here. It's like gas receipts and stuff. Yeah. I don't want to touch this thing. This look this thing looks bloody. Look. Where where's the main part oh. of it? Yeah, it's a bra. Yeah, you see that? That's disgusting. Um, this is weird. I'm guessing it would have been like um Something you'd wear like as pajamas. Well, with pajamas. It's the bottom. But it looks cool. Now oh, it's falling apart. A bunch of more magazines. There's a small TV over there. Really small TV. Look at this, love. What? This ration book. Yeah. Hmm. From the 1940s. To 45. Oh, well, this is history. Probably gonna have to blurt it out. But maybe not. I don't think it's. Yeah, this is in London. It has nothing to do with this. Same Ministry of Food. That's cool. Scholar's Notebook. City of Leeds. Oh, it's brand new. Well, not burnt, you know what I mean. Not used. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how to get through this. I'm just going to climb over yeah, this. you climb over and I'll go on the back. Chair with a... Ow. Toilet seat in it. Hold on, guys. So let's position ourselves first real quick. I'm going to have to stand on the bed. Now, there's another walker there. And as I just mentioned, this chair with a toilet seat. So, it was definitely... Um, older people. Okay, let's start with the stuff in here since there's less things in here. Another binder. I bet you it's going to be full of the same stuff. No? Yeah. Uh, smells weird. It's just random documents. You know, there are account numbers and stuff. Personal stuff. I do not know what this thing is. That's weird. It probably would have hang like this. That's <laughs> weird, right? I, I, you can't tell what this is. This weird what? shape. There's a little pillow thing. Um, what's this? It's cool. It'll probably hold stuff and you hang it on the wall like that. And then on top of here, this is pretty weird. It's teeth. That's disgusting. I'll try to zoom in on that for you guys. Wow. Maybe that has something to do with why we found those molds in the other room. Yeah. Now look how they do their fillings. It's like gold or copper. Oh yeah. I know we used to, in America, we used to um, do silver fillings. I don't think we do that anymore. And then this one, I don't know what that is. It's black stuff. It's not a cavity, obviously. It's a filling of some sort. Maybe that's silver and it, it just looks It feels so weird just touching teeth like this. Thank God it's in a little Ziploc. <laughs> now these things, I do not know what they're made of. These little seal things. I don't want to touch it. It looks like real, like, hair from some, some sort of animal. Wow. There's another one here. It's like a keychain one. It's, it's weird, right? Very weird. And then another one here. You have some little stamps with. I'm gonna Pretty step down. down. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. I wanna be able to show what you're showing us. Some little stamps. Oh wow. You got a penny. Little Santa Claus. Probably from a board game or something. Another clock, and there's a picture here. 
probably a couple or a parent and their kid. I, I do not know, but yeah. This is a photo of something. Card. A Christmas card, of course. This house is making so much weird sounds. I think it's because of all the cracks. Look at that crack. Oh my God. And the movement of us walking in here. Thank God. I'm, I'm actually glad there's no other like floor because I wouldn't have walked on it. No. Probably would have fell through. Here you got some little homemade closet space. With some old dresses. Little sweater. Shirts. Yeah. And on this side, as I pointed out earlier, a little boom box. Cool picture. Furniture, a little fireplace. This fireplace looks cool. That's cute. Yeah, I like the, the stone, or not stone, whatever this thing is. <laughs> then on this side, I don't even know how we're gonna get over there, but I see a lot of magazines, a piece of yeah. furniture. I don't know if there's anything in it. It's probably empty, but I can try to reach over for this little draw. Okay, there's, oh, there's a passport. British passport. Oh, wow. Now nah, we'll definitely blur this stuff out. 1988. Wow. Where's their picture? Do they have pictures it on there? It would probably be one of those pictures we saw over there. Oh, there you go. Wow. We gotta look. I gotta look up if there's anywhere we can go to get a stamp. Yeah. In the airport or whatever. We got some glasses, a certificate of some sort. Is it a birth certificate? No. Oh, what the hell? Oh, a blood donation. These glasses are heavy. Oh. Maybe you can reach. The other one, if you can, <laughs> see what's in that one. There's a little ring here. Doesn't look real or anything. It's probably just, it's like a little rock. Don't know what it is, let's see. Yeah, there's definitely no writing on it. It's too small for that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can try if you can. I don't Hold know. this, sorry. Yeah, let's see if I can. Nothing. Empty. Okay. Guess we got the best one here. Yeah. Okay. And it's just like, just so you guys know, with this side, it's just clothes. Yeah. A little bit more like personal paperwork that we wouldn't be able to show you anyway. And magazines. And magazines, yeah. So. Again, look at this. Look at the cracks on the wall, man. It just sucks. Someone's history is literally like stuck in here it is and it's all going to waste yeah so let's find our way out of this room <laughs> and yeah we were i don't know catch you guys outside yep. or in the um there's another section in the back a garage we'll see if there's anything in there and we'll show you guys so that let's go good. okay this is their little garage area See through there? There's nothing much. Just garbage. Yeah. Now let's check this backside real quick. Looks pretty clear. Okay, it's just garbage. Oh, we could go in through this way, I think. Hold this. Never mind. But like she said earlier, I think there's a lot of illegal dumping and that's probably what we heard. Because I doubt any of this had 
to do with the house. Yeah. We probably just dumped it here. I don't know how, but... Probably through... A lot of birds. <laughs> probably through here. They'll probably like drive up, obviously, not recently. Yeah. But they'll probably just drive up and dump their stuff. But look at these, are these like, what are these? Some sort of fruit. Someone's eating it. Kind of look like apples on this side. They're growing on this tree. Oh my God, it is an apple. Is, that is this an, an apple, apple tree? Oh wow. Like, look, that's a green apple, yeah, guys. Yeah, it is. Ooh, I'm stepping in. This the... is 100% an apple tree. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, look. An abandoned apple tree. <laughs> or if we're wrong, let us know, because we may not be familiar with the fruit out here. Maybe a... Yeah, maybe something else, but it looks like an apple. Wow. Okay. Well, that's it, right? I yep. think that was the total That's cool. of this house. And we randomly, we randomly found this place, so mm -hmm. that Last makes it more night. exciting. Yeah. It was like 11 o'clock at night, we're driving down the road, I'm like, is that a refrigerator in the driveway? Yeah, so I guess that's it. So make sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already. Check us out on our other social media platforms on Facebook, Urbex Vibes, Instagram, Urbex Vibes, Real Zek and Oxidize93, and on TikTok, Oxidize93 and Real Zek. Yep. And we'll see you guys for the next explore.